Hawaii Island Week, and we had our a blast in our own backyard. A short plane ride to Hilo, and we're off to discover a taste of what makes Hawaii Island so unique. First on our Living 808 list, Volcanoes National Park. Easy to spend days here exploring. We had a walking encyclopedia to take us on a tour called Volcano Unveiled. Aloha, Tanya. How are you? Great. We are so excited oh, to be here. I'm glad you're here too. It's going to be fun. Okay, yeah. volcano unveil. What volcano are we going to see? You're going to see a whole chunk of the island today. By the end of the day, you're going to have this like incredible understanding of this island home we have, how it came to be here, all the transformation that's occurring here, and all the stories that are in the landscape. And you're going to go away being a big fan of Hawaii Island. Sounds good. Are we ready to do it? Yeah. Hey, I got a hat for you. Okay. It's going to be sunny and windy and rainy and shady and sunny, depending as we go around the island. And we're going to keep you hydrated all day long, and we're going to have a great time. I like it. Let's go. All right. Tell me about this incredible spot and why we stopped at this particular spot. You know, volcanoes is such a dynamic landscape, and people think of it only in the terms of red lava. But you can come here, and you can see these these lavas that came off the mountain in the 70s and here where they they took over the old road we have still the section and people can visualize it they can feel it and we can tell the stories of what just occurred down in Puna and even though they can't be there this is telling the story and then this huge massive poly is all about this volcano that's you know a very fragile structure that in in May we had the 6.9 earthquake which was a response of this whole piece of this volcano just adjusting and moving towards the ocean and we see this big cliff as evidence of that. I imagine people want to stop here and take pictures all the time. Do people come out here and try and get that perfect picture? Yeah, especially when the park was really busy when as, as eruptions were happening. This used to be the where area you would come down to see the, the lava when the Pu'o eruptions were coming down into here. So this was a very busy place and this would be loaded with people coming and get their selfie here with this lava that was overtaking the road. Yeah. Right, where to next? We're going to head up now and we're going to get up to the summit of the caldera and we're going to see the incredible transformation that happened there. Well, all the attention was down the lower Puna with the big eruption, what was happening at the summit was just as dramatic and, uh, and an incredible story. Rob, this walk in was worth it. Tell me about the dramatic landscape and evolution we're seeing here. I'm, I'm speechless every time I come out here still. It's, you know, I've been coming here for 30 years and seeing the place. The last, you know, the last 10 years where we've had the lava lake at Halima'uma'u active. And then, you know, last year in April um, and, and the months preceding that, the lava lake just came up and we had this bubbling cauldron of magma lava that we could see, you know, right from, from the Jagger Museum over here in Halima'uma'u, which looked the same as it's looked since 1924. And then, as the events begin to unfold here, you know, early May, this, the, the lava lake drained, and then we just had systematic collapse here, daily earthquakes of 5.0. So the whole time lava is vacating out and erupting down in Puna, this hole is forming. Now it's a big funnel. So there's rock tumbling down into it, you know, as it's because it's still, you know, it's it's, it's still done. Yeah, done. it's still settling. Yeah, so actually. It's, it's, it's more shallow than it was at the very beginning because we have so much rock fill coming in, but just a tremendous, tremendous. You can see these chunks of rock that were once up here that are down here. Huge section of the Crater Rim Road gone down below. You're able to cover a lot of ground because of the comfort of the van from going from highlight to highlight within the park itself. And lunch and various things you kind of shape the tour with your different guests yeah our tour this this tour is an amazing tour because it originates you know we have ones that originate from hilo the ones that originate from kona i mean we, we do a 300 mile round trip on this tour right and we'll change elevation you know 20 30 000 feet in elevation as we go up and down our volcanoes so the the tour doesn't start when we get to volcanoes national parks it starts as we're heading here we're crossing mauna loa we're setting the stage we're letting people know about the background the hot spot theory you know, the different landforms are going across. So by the time the people get to the park here, there's already this ongoing epic story that's being unveiled, you know, and then getting here and seeing this dynamic place that's Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is just the icing on the cake. What a great tour to get a 
slice of Hawaii Island. I'm really happy you saw it. So I'm going to leave you here at the Volcano Arts Center because this natural landscape is uh, just an inspiration for artists. This whole community, there's loads of artists here. They have wonderful stuff. It's a great place to get souvenir or some beautiful artwork. So it was great meeting you, and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. Aloha. Right. Thank you, Aloha. Rob. Bye-bye. We had the best time with the best guide there. Rob's been doing that for three decades and so many changes. And he actually said, as a tour guide, it's somewhat of a blessing that the lava is not active right now because yeah. you can explore other parts. Otherwise, people are fixated strictly on the lava. Yeah, no, I, um, I did this hike mm -hmm. uh, with my family in December when we went over to vis visit my parents. And uh, it's great. It's a great hike. It, it's kind of neat to see some of the places that are still steaming like that mm -hmm. and, and the, where the road is cracked and where, where as a kid I used to go right up to the crater right. rim and now it's just a huge massive canyon almost. It's, it's crazy how much it's changed. And it's eerily still when you yeah. go there. It just, yeah. yeah, you feel something. So if you haven't gone, definitely go check it out. And we're going to check out the Volcano Arts Center in just a little bit. Yeah.